effect. I believe Usain Bolt all started. I think Usain Bolt just fall started. Tom, I don't even want to say it. That fall start went on to be one of the most disappointed fall starts in track and field ever. Everybody was anticipating that race. Yohan went on to win that race, Jamaica still got a gold medal. So the next year, everybody's looking at Yohan Big to be the man. Now let's keep forward to 2012 when this happened. Versus Bolt. Up they go. Powell is up well. Bolt has work to do. Powell is ahead of Bolt and the rest of the field. A stop for Powell. Blake comes forward on the outside. Yohan Big wins. Yohan Blake beat Usain Bolt in 100 meters in 9.75 which is one of the fastest if not the fastest time on Jamaican soil. Somebody fact check me down in the comment. Is that the fastest time ever ran in Jamaica? Then he goes on to beat him in a 200. And here by Blake once again. And Johan Blake for the second time in three days. In 19.80 which I still think is the fastest time ever ran on Jamaican soil. Remember that Yohan Blake just tried at the end of the 200. I'm going to bring that back up at the end and you're going to see why it's important to remember that. As you can tell Usain Bolt was in no type of form or ready to beat anybody at the world level and Yohan Blake was definitely everybody's favorite. I remember Jamaica was torn. A lot of people who loved Bolt over the last couple years were starting to think Yohan Blake was going to take over. The whole track world saw him beat Usain Bolt in the 100 and 200 and thinking hey maybe there's a new sheriff in town. But there were some Bolt loyalists saying that nah Bolt is going to be ready and listen to both how he talked about being prepared for this upcoming championship i vomited daily because i was pushing myself to the, the ultimate level after much people doubted both and johan beat him a couple times during the season in 100 meter he dropped 9.64 which to this day is still an olympic record and the second fastest time in 100 meter ever after that Bo came back in the 200 and dropped one of the fastest times ever do you remember that 200 finals from national trials when you and blake did this well you saying both took notes of that and if you looked at the end of the 200 at the london olympics you saying both did it right back he even spoke about it in his documentary i am both national trials he went like this after the race and you're my teammate, and I respect you, but I'm the greatest. In that same 200 race, Warren Weir was able to come third place. Jamaica got the 1 2 3 finish, which was historic for us. You can just imagine the country was on a high at that time. There was pot covers everywhere. One of the main things that you have to learn from both is not just that he's fast, he's one of the greatest because of his mentality. He's someone that works hard and wants to achieve the highest. It's not that he never loses, it's just about how he bounces back from his losses. Keep himself mentally ready to compete at the highest level. And that's a mentality that we all could use in our day to day life. I mean, think about anything that you have challenges with. It's not gonna always be easy, but sometimes you just have to. Go out, keep a strong mentality, and get better. So do you remember where you were in 2012? Did you jump on the Yohan Blake hype train? Or were you loyal to Usain Bolt? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you for watching.